Hey guys, when here in Scumbria we say to put something in the comments, that means we definitely read them. And to prove that, that's what we saw recently, the comment of Mr. Lancaster. He wanna see the production of Actual Dip in, back in a Snapper Blues video. So now we're doing this just for him and for you, Scumbrians. All right, I brought the fish in off the smoker. See, so it has a nice golden brown to it. It's all done. It took about, I don't know, three hours. Oh, there's a lot of steps to this. More than catching them. Here we go. So the uh, the bluefish that we smoked, it's been in the fridge all, all day. It's all cooled down. So I'm just gonna pick it off, the little uh, smoked meat off here, and like this. Make sure I don't get any bones. So I'm just kind of flaking the chunks of snapper off in there. Getting this, taking the skin off. They can start feeling around to so make sure there's no bones. Yeah. Ooh, this one's got a little jerky style. That'll, that'll blend up. That'll blend up. Everything will blend. This video went from just catching snapper blues to smoking snapper blues. Now we're making this uh, this smoked bluefish dip out of them. It, it's got more steps. Quickly, help me find up a thing. More steps than a... What has a lot of steps? More steps than a recovering alcoholic. Inappropriate. <laughs> That's More. only 12. That's only 12. So I got all the, the bluefish all picked off the skin. I've felt around on it, made sure there's no bones. I'm gonna throw it here into the blender, AKA food processor. Put on the lid. You guys need to learn really how. walk them through it. <laughs> throw it on the, in the blender. Hit the power button, <laughs> then press the other button. Did you plug it in? All right. Now you basically have <laughs> bluefish sawdust. Like a sawdusty like nice. smoked bluefish. I don't care how good you are with a knife. You cannot cut up fish like that. Nope, you get this like wow. nice mm. sawdusty looking bluefish. Smells smoky. It smells smoky, delicious. Thank you. Now we're gonna add some fresh ground black pepper. There, and then I mix it in with the bluefish sawdust. Now I have, right there, <laughs> don't mention these fingerprints. There were gloves on though. Now I'm gonna take this softened whole thing of cream cheese, put it in there. Now it's plated and you're ready to serve. <laughs> and then I'll stir and kind of mix the two together. Now, I know what you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves. This is the reason. I think the best way to combine the two is by hand. Just like an old woman in the old country. Where do you add weird things like that? <laughs> I don't know. All right, I've blended it in by hand. Now I've gone back to a more civilized manner with this spatula. Then I'm gonna take one of these little bowls. Custard oh, cup. Oh, it's a custard cup, you're right. Yes. Pretty much things make their own noises. You don't have to add noises to them. I can't help myself. I make sound effects when I'm alone. Scratch that. <laughs> There it is, smoked bluefish dip. All right, so I put the, uh, the dip in these little custard cups, throwing a little bit of plastic wrap on, I'm gonna throw it in the fridge, let it chill, and then we got one last step, that's tonight, we'll get some crackers, and we'll enjoy this dip. See you then. And we've been doing all the work on the other videos, but we're letting him be the first one to try the new dip. And up with you, it's go. Mm. You said mmm before you even tasted it. Cause I already tasted it. I know, we did, he tasted it one time before. So I guess it's a successful smoking, tasting. Till next time.